Greg. Mike. Two bandits. Watching. Louie. This episode is called Dance Mode. What up, party people, and welcome <laughs> to episode 53. Oh, 53. But there's only 52 episodes bandits in one. It's watching Bluey. Oh. Season 2 premiere, buddy. I'm your host, Greg Painter. I see him right there. Oh, I, I don't look me. at him when I say it, but he's right there. He is. I he promise. He likes to dance like nobody's watching. Oh, my. His name is. Name. I'm Mike Martin. Hey, friends. What's up? How what you doing? What is up? We're, it's here. It's oh. finally here, Mike. Season two. This is this is gonna be fun, crazy, interesting. Season two, right out of the gate, is going to be mayhem. I I know that there's only three <sighs> seasons of this and one season we've only seen half of, but season two is my favorite season of this show, and I think it's gonna take a lot for any other season to top it. It's got some bangers here, my dude. It's got. <laughs> it's got. It's, so, two out of one is your favorite. So, fifty fifty chance could be your favorite. There's a third season out there. I didn't say season three is my favorite, so I'll have okay. three chance. Okay, just making yes. sure. Yes, stinker. Just pulling the audience to make sure. Well, the audience being Greg. Me. Sitting next to me. <laughs> yes, of course. Well, it's, uh, it's, been a, it's been an exciting... Outside of that, there's been a lot of Bluey news this week that's been pretty amazing. We my, got two, count them, two new episodes of season three that just dropped, buddy. We, but we, they're, they're late we re- season two, too. We they're released, two, released three, the fart oh. cut. We got family meeting in it, uh-huh. and like you said, we got one, which is kind of strange yeah. that it's not from the original 26, and it's not even like episode 27. Huh. It's like way on there, like, we've decided that we're going to release these controversial episodes, hey, and Greg. some of them before the non-controversial ones. So we fought the fight. Yes. They're there. We did it. Have they released the poop cut? They haven't. One day. <laughs> oh, no! The poop cut, teasing... And by golly, dad, baby, so we, we need baby those steps? things in the U.S. of A. Baby steps, dad, baby steps. Uh, we'll get there. Okay. okay. But there's a much bigger news than that, even. Macy's flipping Thanksgiving Day parade balloon for Bluey. Oh, how cool would it? Okay, throwing it out there already. Like it could be like a whole conversation that t- lasts twelve minutes. How cool would it be if we we're holding that balloon? That would be that would be cool. <laughs> except the fact that we're giving up our Thanksgiving with our families. Other than that part. <laughs> Here's a, I thought this might be where you're going. What Emily said is like, I wonder if they're doing that because there's going to be a balloon movie. Because a lot of times when they do new big fancy balloons and floats, it's to announce something big coming down. So mm. maybe, maybe. Well, I mean, I mean, the, the, the live theater show is coming to the U.S. That is true. So it may be in. Why rain on my parade? <laughs> <laughs> oh my golly. Oh man. I just, in order to let all this out. I feel like I need to dance. Feel like you need to dance. You don't feel like you need to take a trip to Hammer Barn because that's what Disney Plus says we're supposed to do. Oh, we're, oh I, first you, I sent you. If you want to, uh, hey, hey, friends at home, you can play along at home. Click boop, Wiki boop, 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 Whippy boop, boop, Whippy. Boop, boop, uh, click Wiki episodes of Bluey boop, boop, and see the actual release date, and then compare it to your Disney Plus. Boop, boop, boop. It couldn't be more crazy. Boop, boop, what are boop, you doing? Boop, boop. Giving you fun background music, man. <laughs> <laughs> You're giving me fun distraction music. Distracting like the order of these episodes on Disney Plus. I have no idea why they feel the need to like jumble it like they did. Uh-huh. Like we're uh, we're gonna be talking dance mode, because that's what the canonically first episode as released yep. is. But we've got like dance mode's number three yep. in America, and then episode number what is it? Five or six is uh what's that one? Hairdressers. And it's like episode twelve in America. Like all of them are like hickly pickly jumbled. Well, it's like it feels Madness, like somebody. Michael. It feels like somebody spent time trying to do what we have been doing, <laughs> and they had their own conspiracy theory board and have said, hey, "This goes here. This goes here." Hey, guy, stay in your lane. That's L- our job to be mm. conspiratorial. Pay the toll. But anyway, dance mode. Yeah, let's um, talk about dance mode after. What? Hey, what a good friend that we can have to say about this. Our it's very season two, buddy. We're not changing the formula. I feel like when we get to season two, their quality of synopses is, 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 have increased to like they've gotten their doctorate in synopses. Is that correct? Let's let's see. Hey Greg. Yeah. Tell me, please. 
What's a dance mode? <laughs> After dad eats her last chip, Bingo is given three chances to put mom and dad in dance mode as payback. Ooh. But the others can't resist taking Bingo's turns for her. That's that's pretty that's decent. Is that we've heard worse? We've heard better. Okay, but we've heard worse. All right. Yes. All right. Cool. You know what? You know what? Give it to him. Give it to him. Give him. Yes. I'll give. I'll give that the thumbs up. Give like the, the whole the whole Caesar side thumb. Yeah. I'm gonna go up. There that's go. okay. I like how we start the season. Because the what's the first thing? Well, one of the first things that you see as it goes magic claw esque. It's we, it's in the we're not we're not healer house that majestic shot French fry <laughs> French fry and then we fade out a little bit and we got their tables number two and I just it's like ah I like season two it made my heart Aww. happy that's the first thing you focused on when it panned out from the French it fry it was that's why I missed what you focused on first Winton's dad <laughs> yikes he is so confused about that salad does he always have food he seems to and he doesn't like it when it's green <laughs> like sausages down a clown mm. whatever that was he's you can see him smell it he, they do the the nose lift of the doggo which is he's trying to get the vibe of the the zucchini spaghetti Wait, whatever Witten's dad is a story that we need to get he i'm not sure if he has one line in all three seasons that i have seen but he is he has a through story he's going through a divorce he's getting back in the dating field so does we ah, oh so good could be a whole just subsection of bluey is winton four episodes jack four episodes oh, hey. sign me up <sighs> always playing with food why can we get the track please so do you get any of that? No. Oh. I bless your heart right now, and if you want to spend 26 minutes, explain it, because <laughs> in my head, as a father, if Finman did that, and if it was something that existed, and then it turned it inside voices, <laughs> still doing it, I'd, I'd feel a little irk. Em is very much a sing talker. Not in public as much. She's she's a home sing talker. She's not sure. screaming. At, well, she is screaming at the restaurants too but not as much <laughs> as at the house but i i found that enjoyable also uh bandit just scab that last chippy he gets wow Whew. i mean how how okay how how worth that chippy is it for you it's soggy it's I it's ketchup slash ketchup ketchup or cats up real quick you would ke- ketchup okay just confirm tomato it. sauce possibly mm-hmm. yeah, it's ketchup it's just always ketchup. I Hit the definitely, I definitely have pulled the whole. Oh, Liv, you're done with your chicken nuggets. Snag. Uh, can't let a good chicken nugget go to waste. You but can't. Liv. Well, no, you cannot. You cannot. And I'll. I'll and the the more the uh, fry sits, it's like marinating in the ketchup. It makes it a little bit better, my dude. I, I see a chip, not a fry. Restaurant terminology, just say quality control. You're Ooh. just confirming. That's the food. Like dad tax. Dad tax. Oh gosh. <laughs> Just prepping him for adult life. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> no. Uh, bingo returns. But yeah, from uh, drop the crayon under the table. The gulp. Yeah, the the fear in Panda's face, it's knowing regret Uh-oh. gulp. You see the you see the French fry go down esophagus. So shout out to graphic designers <laughs> saying, let's show you this French fry going right where it shouldn't go. Could. Would you have ordered another basket of fries? No. no. Oh, you're out? It's one fry left. Okay. One fry. Okay. Uh, fry easily, like. I'm not knocking. Five, six I'm dollar just, bucks for one fry. That was the other thing, too. I was like, I was still so very hungry. It's like, my dudette. It was just one fry. So. Chip. Very hungry. So she very hasn't hungry. eaten anything, Greg. Eat She's food out. instead of coloring. Bingo. Out. Wow, I'm ripping on Bingo this episode. You are. Who and am it, I? I was very surprised that Bluey was the one that introduced the episode. When they say, this episode is called Dance Mode. I didn't think it would be a Bluey voice. I felt like it should have been Bingo. Just in how the arc of everything. I feel like it should have been the busker. It could have been this a lot. This episode called Dance Mode! It could have been so many other people. I don't think Bluey, I don't want to say she doesn't deserve it. 
Bluey is not the main character of this by a, a stretch. There's a lot of characters <laughs> happening in this episode. It is a, uh, it's a beautiful thing. But we transition. Yes. What can yes. we do to make you happy? Bluey's got an idea. Mm. A little something called dance mode. Whisper, 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 whisper. Now, they're, they're standing at the crosswalk. And they're talking about this. Yes. Chili. Just slightly frustrated. Not about the, the, the chip being eaten. About the button. Come on. Come on. Oh, she's uh, doing the, the triple tap? She's pushing it like 12 times, and she's getting angrier and angrier because nothing's happening. And she's realizing what's about to happen. And she's like, come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. How are you with stop walks? Oh, I what? never push the button. The buttons are fake. Okay. In Do my you, head. If you were in their shoes in that situation, everyone seems like they're stopping, but you have littlies. Are you going? No. Okay. Not, not with having the not having now. Let, I'll say this: when we walk up uh, the SU Hill to go see uh, the five and O Syracuse Orange take on NC State Wolfpack tomorrow, woo! Sure. Or or two days in the past, and I might be either happy or sad right now. Who knows? But when we walk up the hill woo! for that, we're just kind of walking. If there's the stop guy and there's no cars coming, we're just gonna go. But if it's an intersection where literally it appears to be like a twelve lane intersection, sure, I'm gonna wait. That's true. There That's was like a New York City vibe. Yeah, of crosswalk. Well, you and you and I have done New York City walk. together, and I do. I've I've done New York City with Carrie a couple times, and it's it's a weird culture that you get into because you're used to, you wait and you stop and you push button, push button, and then you just see people just breezing it. They're like this, ah, and they go, and you're like, dang, there's like four lanes, and you're looking around with the lilies. I can. Which I, I love. Well, and then you got to teach them, too. If, if you do that with the Little East, you're going to have yourself a muffin moment where, why can you go on the orange light and I can't? Cause, yep. Ooh. I'm special. I'm special. I'll just run in traffic. And <sighs> muffin. Then, oh, muffin. Oh, we're just going to end up with the favorite character of this season. Oh, God. Oh, we've got a long oh, ways. Oh, I'm not even Pump them that. brakes because it's time for dance mode number one. Mm. Because the coolest dog in all of Brisbane is rocking out in his car. Sub Woofer. Ha! <laughs> Dude's got these cool black shades. Ha! Just nodding his head, rocking out in his car. Windows his down. His, his license plate is Sub Woofer 8. <laughs> I love the woofer with the doggo. It makes me so happy. And he's just sitting there nodding. Like, we, had, we have some fun vanity playing style up in this place. I, I also... Uh, after Dance Mode 1's initiated on Poor, Poor Chili, we see Wendy, we see Pat. Mm-hmm. Shake it, Chili! The one and only. Pat just, I think, how, how far is that? It's probably like three minutes into the episode then. You get you get a Pat appearance. And a Wendy. That's where you know this season's going to be okay. Wendy with Pat's her, here for you. her vanity play, W3ND73. Mm. Look at her. She's so it's, fancy. Is that just, what's the 7-3? Oh. You think? Well, I think the seven is kind of like the. Is this? Well, it's using an L. The but it's Y. It's kind of like a Y ish. I don't know the three. It's one D three. It could be the third one. Ah. ah. Her third car? Ooh, Ooh. third Wendy's. Third. <laughs> we don't need three Wendy's. We don't. Ah. She hasn't redeemed herself yet in our timeline. But Chili jams out. And she rocks it again. Shake it, Chili. Do when she got to the other end of the cross. Well, I don't want to skip over. Yep, you're good. The, the Wendy Faye. But when she got to the end of the crosswalk, she was like sweating. She was sweating from the brow, which you don't get from doggos. <laughs> Dogs, I think, sweat from the nas. Oh, well, that from probably would have, That would have been. But Hugh dogs sweat from all over. They sure, do. they sweat from wherever, but it, like drip, drip, and she just flakes it off. And she even says to Bandit, she was just like, "You're gonna get yours. You still got it, babe." Yeah. Oh, <laughs> man. Man, it, bud, bud. I do like we get our first uh, good morning, Wendy, or morning, Wendy, from Chili here. Mm-hmm. And I like the, the, not a word from Wendy, but just the sneering at Pat when she says shake it. And then just the eyes of shock that Chili's talking to her like, oh, oh heavens, don't get me involved. How big is the city that we're playing with here now? Now, I feel like this is in my head and I, I like it. Head? I'm relating it to downtown Syracuse of having a city day. Because I love city days with my kid and walking around and and you get that. They they went to a, a local, you know, what have you. They looked it up on Yelp and they're like, this is going to be great. We're going to go here. And uh, it's it's fantastic and delicious. Guess, go ahead. Guess the Brisbane population. Oh, golly. Brisbane's population is 576,000 people. 
Two point two million. Guess Syracuse's okay, cool, cool. population. Syracuse's population. Five hundred seventy six thousand people. <laughs> See one hundred forty thousand people. So they are Wait, one hundred forty thousand? <laughs> yeah. So Ooh, for Duva. That's it, that's it. So they're like twenty times us. <laughs> twenty Syracuse I stacked on top of each other. But they're probably just like a they're probably in like a suburb like we are. That's probably not although that does feel kind of fairly downtown with the buskers and everything. So. Oh, we don't we don't really I mean the, we don't have four lane one way spots that are in the midst of the city too. So that, that makes we got some big one way oh well, no, they're mainly two lane. Where anyway, where in your head Okay, the, 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 the shake it chili moment. Yes. Where does that happen here where we are in our city? Um, is it by Clinton Square, by the water fountain? That's probably fountain? Clinton Square. There's the water fountain there. I can see a busker rocking out around that that neck of the woods. Okay. Yeah. But 20 times bigger, like 20 that's times what, squares. That's what I mean. Okay. Dang. Whew. Then, yeah, there's there's a little bit of embarrassment to it. But well, I do also, love. when Chili's realizing that the dance mode is about to happen, she's like biting her lip. It's Because I, I was a lot of pause in this episode reading license mm-hmm. weights and stuff. But I just caught she just like suddenly bit her lip like oh this is about to happen yes like you said you're, that's only the yours. first one that's not sure now we're going to the post office shout oh. out to our favorite posty Brendan uh, Hammer Barn Project more about him later don't worry people are still wearing sunglasses I think this is the first episode in Bluey so many sunglasses that we wear sunglasses or at least the doggos do because they're sunglasses outside we got oomch, sunglass oomch, dog, oomch. different sunglass dog. Different dog, too. That's what made me so excited is I had to research that to make sure it is a different dog rocking sunglasses. But in Bluey, they're rocking sunglasses. Post offices are way more fun in Australia, I'm learning. Well, this, again. This seemed like a, a happy, a, granted a long line, and some people weren't super happy in that line. But there was, like, books there from the looks of it. It looked like Bingo was, it wasn't, looked like a card. It looked like a mm-hmm. thick book that she was reading through. Yeah. Hey, posties in Australia. If you know anything about the post office, let us know. Maybe we'll find out in the future. I don't know. Maybe. Hmm. Wink. I don't know. Bingo, not going to do a dance mode here. Wants to save them. She hasn't really. That was the thing that got me too. Not only did Bluey say, let's do the dance mode here. Bluey was actually the initiator of the dance mode. Bingo didn't even get to, to whack a tail. No whacking tail. <laughs> it's tough. So I love the amount of stuff that happened in the background of this not only this episode, but I feel like it's they realize this is season two. Let's just see what we can get away with. There's so much happening in the background and extra characters. Even in the post office here, there's so many characters everywhere. Everywhere. And I know it's a city vibe too, so that's probably why they added so many characters. But even in the line, it's it's there's a person that looks like they're related to the the nurse in Bumpy. Where it's a greyhound. Yeah. And is it the the nurse? Maybe it is the nurse. Is it is it somebody related to the nurse? And then I think No Name Norman, again, standing tall in the middle of the line. And he does start dancing with somebody else. So. <laughs> Norman gets it in this episode. He... The, the, when the music stops, when Chili steals dance one number two. Boom, 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 doing the police boom, face boom, on your kid. Come on, Chili. Come on, Chili. <laughs> But he's just back there just doing the most simplistic dance. He's just happy. Norman's oh. Norman redemption arc coming before Wendy's redemption arc. Who'd have thought? <laughs> Who would have thought? <laughs> Posty, giving... Posty not feeling it, though. Posty not feeling it. Trying to get that second form of ID. How many, how many forms? Would... Pull out your wallet right now. How many forms of ID do you have Can you right stop? Now? What if I could, mate? I don't, well, just one. Yeah, I, don't I think, think so credit too. cards and stuff don't count. So, maybe picture so ID. It... Picture ID, ID? I actually, I have two photo IDs. I have my driver's license, and then I also have my SUNY Oswego student ID, which is still in my card all these years later. <laughs> okay, oh. you win. Never mind. So I would make it through. <laughs> now, fun little fact here. Our friend, <laughs> the, our friend the postie. Yes. He's a wiggle. He is a wiggle, yes. He's Anthony Field. Yes. <laughs> Shout out, wiggle crossover number one. We, uh, we get one in season three. Yeah, season three for sure. Yep. Uh, but this is the actual first official one. Oh. So wiggle away, buddy. <laughs> From Greg Painter. <laughs> <laughs> no, like I said, I no, love no. it. Your your line of folks though, waiting. I don't think that's the best place for the dance mode. I think Chili kind of. Goofed up on this one. Do you not feel like jamming out to Oh Susanna from a, a greeting oh, card? Oh Susanna, while you're ten deep in a line, 
It's lucky that he was just called Twinkle Toes. It looked like the Greyhound was about to snap on him. He had a moment where he was just like, really, 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 this is happening right now. Yeah, Norman was cool. Norman was cool. Bandit, and even even Bandit did do the whole committing to it to where he was doing different dance modes. I saw him doing the, the Russian kicking at one moment. He's spinning. He's he's holding his ID in all the right ways. Uh, chill. That affects my final vote. Ooh. But Chili, really? Here? Of all places? I mean, cross, crossing the road, and it was better music. They, like, forced that moment to embarrass him. But that's... Well, but hey, yes, he, yes. He was, he was also talking a big game. Oh, you still got it, babe. And when you know, she said, you'll get yours, I think it turned the game a little bit. And you get this a lot. It was no longer about bingo. Correct. You get this a lot in a parental... You know, husband wife situation of like, oh, you made me dance in front of a whole line of cars. Watch what I'm going to do to you. Just <laughs> wait. And it, <laughs> she like laid it out there and she did it. So you can't blame in that situation. But, but they come together mm. because when they hear some, I almost said tub thumping, but that's, that's a, we took too much trouble one but talk on this podcast already. Whatever you would call those little tubes, just boom, 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 boom. Pipe playing? Pipe playing? I sure. Think, I think is a good way to put it. Busking. Oh, I deleted them all. They, I had, they both happily, nope, yes. nothing, this way, let's go. And it, it's something that you'll see. I mean, the, the people make, it, it, it is a street performing. I have seen them. Yes. I've seen, I've seen them in for real life. I feel like I saw them in the, one of the cities in our crazy adventures between me and the missus. So there's I about four West. cities you can choose from. Probably. Maybe what? six cities you can choose from total then, right? You got a couple more yeah. than that. Ooh. But we got the return <laughs> of the busker. Oh, good old Joffy. Good friend, Joff Bush. Oh, I love that. He's playing with thongs. The, the, walking with, the walking before they get to Joff, though. And, and this is where the whole, you know, throw us in the background. We're not scared. Right, if you dude. did, we wouldn't blame it. But there are some things going in the background. We're you not can... scared. What? <laughs> That's, we're begging you. It's not that we're scared. Do it, please. Greg, Greg begs. Everybody. Mike, don't beg. Oh, um, I'm so tough. And... I don't think the best episode because I'm cool. <laughs> Excuse me. Go ahead. <laughs> Greg Panda, ladies and gentlemen. In the background, you see, you see somebody wearing an archaeology shirt. And she's just sitting there drinking a Pepsi. And you got somebody else hanging out in the background, lying on the back by the by the turtle fountain. And they're just reading a book. And the, who so are they? So many background extras. Who are so they? So many. It's so, there's, there's so many unique looking dogs in yeah. this episode that we don't really see season one. That The animators, I think, had a chance to have the first season. They did the season. Who knows what's going to come of it. It becomes a huge hit. Now we're in the city. fun now. We're in the city. And this is this is episode one. Of what they showed. Yeah. So that's where they're showing the healer household and everything that you've seen so far. You know, Pat, what have you. The world is bigger than that. And we're going to show you really quick. We're going to show you a whole bunch of characters. A whole new world. Don't you dare close your eyes. And it's it's everywhere. And it's just so many people that you're going to know nothing about. And that's what's great about it. Is they could have storylines go elsewhere. But they don't. They're just, boom. What could have happened? What could have happened? Could have happened. Back to Buskin. Oh, man. Because Buskin makes me feel good. With the flops. With the thongs. The That's thong, right. thong, thongs. Bandit Chili. I'm confused on this one here, too. Okay. Of all the places to dance, mm -hmm. this is the most appropriate place to dance. It is a performer actually performing for people. It's not walking in the middle of the road. It's not the middle of a crowded posty office. Mm -hmm. It's a place where you can dance. This should okay. be like, okay, cool. Okay. Let's rock it. Number three, get bingo happy. It's over. And this is where the tails hide. This is where they, they backtrack. And I was like, this they is. They do. I it... wasn't a fan of that part. I was like, man, you guys, yes and everything. This is the most make sense place for well, you to, to cut a rug. It's that whole scared moment that people have talked about that Bandit is not as willing to when it's not around people that he knows as well. Well, that's true. They're in the big city. And in in the, uh, the post office, there's about seven or eight people. Now you're half surrounded by... I mean, this is fourth wall mode, so you're only getting half of the big circle that exists around Joff Bush. And you know the crowd's growing bigger, because when Joff plays them tubes on, on them thongs... <laughs> so as opposed to dancing, Pan <laughs> offers up $20. 
20 that is bucks. a righteous kid bribe i don't i can't think that i've ever bribed my child it's full stop yeah, okay yeah. okay full stop I, I, yeah that's fine i i have not gotten to dollar bucks yet so that's that's where you have any or all expertise i think i i can't remember if it was on a patreon or on a, a regular but we yeah. gave uh and money for her birthday and that was like her first experience like using her money to buy things sure she had her little purse and was all excited about it so that's as much but we don't have we're not in allowance mode we're more like if you're good you get a puff ball we put the puff ball in the drawer when the drawer fills or jar when it fills up you get a fill in the blank whether it's a we go to lunch oh, that's or we cool. buy a toy or yes day at the mall yeah or whatever that's so, cool yeah but we're do you have a dance that. mode in there we do not have a dance mode in there. I don't have a tail. It'd be difficult to... Hashtag support the dance mode. <laughs> no. <laughs> do enjoy Chili's response to, this is not good parenting. This is not good parenting. It's, it's very nice with how they put them on the pedestal in season one of the perfect parents. That's right. They start off right here with they're, they're overwhelmed. Mm. They're making some mistakes. But who's in the crowd watching Joff? Cool doggo. Sunglasses, Still dude. Not in his head. Just nodding heads. Both of them. Both subwoofer and blonde subwoofer. So I'm so proud of both of them. Um, who's who's on the twenty dollar bill? Do you know? I don't know. I, I looked it up a little bit. It and looks, it's a it's a dude. Yeah. Not the queen. R.I.P. Miss you every day. But I'm not sure who it is. So are you whose side are you on now that we are at? Are you with Chili or are you with Bandit? Now that we have given oh, twenty dollars, both wrong. You think they're both wrong? Oh, for just the twenty dollar bucks? Oh yeah, don't bribe your kid. <laughs> just making don't sure, your kid. With twenty dollar bucks. Oh, who's on that bill? Hey, Australians, who's on the bill? Who's on the twenty dollar buck bill? Yeah, we we uh, we get we get the fiver. We understand that. R.I.P. <laughs> but who's on our twenty dollar bill? Who's on our twenty dollar bill? Yep, <laughs> Andrew oh. Jackson. I think it is too. Yes. Okay. Woo. Woo. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Hey, Australia. That was almost real embarrassing. <laughs> Who's on our second. $20 bill, possibly? Because <laughs> we're all awesome. got it. Nailed it in one. <laughs> Nailed it in one. Woo! Swish! <laughs> but Bluey, Bluey with the, the tag team here is saying, we can use the $20 to buy a yes, no button. Just like you want, bingo. Right, bingo? You want oh. this, bingo? Yeah, yeah, bingo? Poor bingo. Now I'm feeling for the kid. The, yeah, the, the, man. The, the chippy. That's unfortunate, but okay. eh, she she's getting she's gotten. I I don't blame Bluey at first for quote stealing the first dance mode because they talked about it. Yeah, I don't think she saw that as a steal. <clears throat> Chili, I'm sorry, uh, not not cool. Bluey, bandit. Again, please eyes from your dad to take my money versus making me dance. And now Bluey's spending the money for her. And Bingo's little. And when you're that size, it's really easy to just want to make everybody else happy. Yeah. Yeah. It's, yes. it's tough. Yes. You can see the yes. whole time. Oh. Mm. Did you know? I the voice. did. Oh, you did? What For what? The voice of the yes-no button. You mean Rupert Degas? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Look at you find people. He's got the longest list IMDb. Know my favorite thing on there? Uh, he was in the remake of Evil Dead as a zombie voice. Was he really? Yeah. He did, he did a lot of video game voiceovers. Yes. Like, I, I, I don't know actors very well, but I saw he was um, um, Voldemort in, yeah. the, in the video games. It's like, he wasn't, the, he wasn't the real Voldemort. He wasn't the real Voldemort. But he just did a whole bunch of voiceovers. Dude's killing it. I, I, I was, when I was rewatching the episode for like, but I was just like, who is the voice of Yes And? And he does he does one over voice one yes, other no. voice. Yes, no, not yes and. <laughs> Did I say yes, no? He said yes and and said yes no. <laughs> <laughs> Oops. It's okay. It's, we're a bluey podcast. It's what we do. Apparently he's also in the movies episode in some way. Oh yeah? And it just says Ooh. movie character. So oh, he's probably like uh the I can see him be like the voiceover movie phone kind of guy. Right. He's got that booming crescendo of a voice. Chutney <laughs> chill. <laughs> <laughs> We get back to the car. Well, on our way back to the car, we ah. have some more license plate fun. And I missed this one, so I'll let you know. No, that's, yeah. It, it, there's just a simple license plate that just says L-U-D-O. So it's Ludo Studio right in front of there. And I hope it I hope it it, it shouts out somebody's car, too. Like, I hope it's an exact, exact replica because it seemed like it was like a VW Bug vibe. And it had, like, the, the teal 
blue look it, to it, and it, it was three dog stickers on the back of it. I a, feel like the people at Ludo just have so much fun all the time, just animating their friends in the background, animating themselves, putting Josh's weird car in there because that silly old Josh with his bumper stickers and why not all that stuff, and putting that those two guys who do that podcast. We'll put them in an episode. Won't that be funny? It's just they're the greatest people. Those people at Ludo Studios. Mm. It's just what I'm saying. <laughs> Oh, we get to the car. The <laughs> cleanest car I have ever seen in a Bluey episode. Oh, of their car? Yes. They went and got their car detailed before season two <laughs> and said, that. no more almonds, no more drawings. Oh, they'll be back. I'm sure they're going to be back, but it got, it got spring cleaning before they went to the city. It very much did. Because for the big trip, spotless but in we, there. But we get back there and we got we got ourselves a sad bingo. She's so mm. sad she can't even talk. Hmm. Luckily, if only that happened to you. Wow. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Season two, the one where we're mean to each other all the time. <laughs> Ma. But Appreciate you. Bluey confused. Why is she sad? Why is she upset? Yeah. She let us have all these things. That's <sighs> the. That's the tough thing with kids. I that's can't wait. So I, that's a you thing. I give you absolute credit. It's very hard sometimes doing parent lessons with the other Lily there. Yeah. Who's trying to quote help. Like if there's oh. like a, Hey, I need you to pick up that. And then having somebody says, like, yeah, you need to pick that. It's like, honey, <sighs> not your job. So it felt kind of like one of those moments. It's like, we shouldn't be feeling bad for bingo. Cause she did this to herself. The moment the juggling started happening, I was just like, Yep, this is Greg. This is Greg parenting. <laughs> I'm going to step away and just... just it's, it's, it's difficult when it gets to those type of situations, dude. but they figure it out. Bluey kind of gets on board. The parents slow down and take the conversation. This is tricky. They know it's not It's not tricky. But they know what's going on, but yes. they're trying to also not only help Bingo in this moment, but also help Bluey understand that sometimes when you're little, your words can get jumbled up in your head, like smashing a yes-no button at the same time. It was it was a very cool way they taught that lesson, and this is this one I think, from being a little bit wild and crazy for most of it, I think this has a great lesson for kids in this too, just teaching to slow down to listen to each other, not just hear their words but see how people are feeling versus just doing. It's a big girl bark yeah. episode. It's it's very similar to to that. It's it's yoga ball with that. It's just taking. Well, it, it, I mean. Not to poo-poo in any way. It's also just a lesson for for humans in general. It's just realizing when it's the right time to raise your voice or don't. Or, you know, say yes. I want to say the word conformist. It's not not conforming, but it is just tolerating. But knowing when to make sure that you're getting your own. Exactly. (laughs) It's, I don't want to watch a seven minute show and be like, oh, but yeah, dude, like, yes, yes, yes. I agree with you. <laughs> no, but we've got, Ryan. <laughs> we've got some salvation for this, though. What can we do to make it better? This slow zoom with the eyes squinting and a oh. slow push. Yes. Oh, and it, it's, it's, it's cheeky. It's fun because Bingo's like, Oh, they get me now. Okay, let's go back to healer mode and have a little bit of goof. So they, they have all of the bit of goof because they're back. The cool dogs are still jamming out. Mm. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm doing this for my kid. I don't care for that line. You're drawing more attention to yourself. Just let it be. Yeah. Just go for it, man. Yeah, Bandit. Just go for it, Bandit. I think You've I- done way goofier stuff. Again, we've talked about it. He's a little more standoffish when it comes to full public display. Yeah. So maybe he's still a little skittish about it, and and he he's not the type to just just fully jump in that random water. But imagine if he didn't. They, they get <laughs> they get the party started there quick though. They are doing the robot. They are yes. Oh, what's that called when you go to the ground? I feel old for now. The worm. That. Yeah. The, the worm. What's that called when you're too hot? Yeah. The the spinny stuff starts with a B. I think. Breakdance. I'm going to breakdance mode. <laughs> Wow! <laughs> Don't you I, love it when words just I, jump out of your head? I love that. Like that? I love Break that. Dance mode. The busker has has thongs because dun, dun, nobody dun, they don't dun, wear dun, shoes. Dun, dun, dun. 
Yeah, it's a musical instrument. It's it, it's exactly what it is. They sometimes. I think I've seen um the kiddos it was, it was with muffin uh, wearing thongs. Oh, and the uh, which came over for sleepover, I think. But yeah. but outside, like when you when you see people playing the, the the tubes, I don't know what you call it. Joff, hit us up. Let us know what. Doom, doom, you, doom, 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 you play. Doom. It's just who likes to dance. It's called it's called the Home Depot, right? No, I do enjoy when, we'll get there. when he's screaming and stuff. He's like also barking a little bit too. It How like, it's, it's so good. Oh man, yeah, bingo jamming on the yes button. Fun oh. way to kick off the season. And he screams. He it's so far. So I think Busker's in there twice so far. This is his second appearance. Yeah, both times. That's all he screams. Who likes to dance? Joff just likes to scream. Who likes to dance? Cause... And I, I believe this is uh, the one, too, where we've got the, the $5 buck with the tooth still on the hat. That is a true yes, sir. statement. The hat that he's got outside for his tips still has the Tooth Fairy logo on it. Fun episode. Fun uh, way to kick off season two. Boo. That brings me to a couple questions for your buddy. Hey, Mike. Oh, dude, I don't, really don't know. I didn't write them down. What's I, your favorite thing today? My favorite thing today is I'm going to give it to Chili bringing some dance music into the quiet place that is the post office. Because some people in the post office need a little bit of dance music to enjoy their day. <laughs> so you know what? Shout out to Chili in a world that doesn't have dance music everywhere. I like the dance music oh, in the post office. Santa. Exactly. <laughs> Just throw some old timey <laughs> Georgia. <laughs> a banjo on my knee. <laughs> This is me coming in just fresh. I've got notes for everything, but I, I just didn't know what it's to do. It's okay. We usually don't do this part of the show, so it's okay. Uh, yeah. Oh, oh, yeah. Welcome to season two. Greg, <laughs> what was your favorite thing in dance mode? My this favorite thing tough, was dude. chili rocking it. Just yeah. shake it chili moment, crossing the street. The look from Wendy, Pat being Pat. That's great. That was just a fun that. way to kick it off. You gotta love it. I can't. Cannot. Whew. Okay, so since you have that, ooh, how does he do it? Greg? Yeah. Who's your favorite character in dance mode? I was tough on her for the first minute or two of this episode, but she tugged at my heartstrings as she always does. It's gotta be Bingo. Oh, he's we'll kicking off the it. season with Bingo again. Mm. Just the cute Bingo. Just even for that devilish grin, eyes squinting, yes moment. They do she's, zoom in she's so getting well. Picked too. On. The other healers are a little rough on <laughs> a little rough on it. Uh, <laughs> Bow, dog joke. Still got it. <laughs> uh, um, but she she ends up with a laugh at the end, a smile on her face. One of my favorite gifts online is the bingo jam of the yes button that she does at the end of this. So that is a very us gif, isn't I'm it? I'm giving it to Bingo. Hey Mike. Yeah. Who's your favorite character? My favorite character is a debut character. Ooh. I give it to the subwoofer dog. That was really close for me. Cool dog. Sitting there waiting for it, watching. Chill. He's the one that initiates dance mode. He's sitting there. His windows are down. He's just thumping the side of his car. He's wearing his shades. Music's pumping. And he's there every time. Music's thumping. Although that does also, also go against my, my conversation about the, the post office. But And when he when Jov is playing, not only is he there, but other dude with shades is also there. I love the shit. Maybe shades bros, but I give it to initial... Subwoofer license plate, <laughs> subwoofer guy. <laughs> so I have to. So then. Yes. How do you rank this episode? I rank this episode two sweet pairs of sunglasses that we've never seen <laughs> in Bluey before. I love that they're adding sunglasses. They all look so cool. <laughs> and I I don't think I don't think they're notated in the, the Wiki Bluey episode notes, so I don't know who these characters are, but they're cool as heck. I think subwoofer guys, sunglasses guys. Cool sack. Two pairs of sunglasses on the board. Dance mode. Greg, how in the world? Season two. Season two. There's going to be so much going on. The, the the graphic artists are going nuts. There's there's background noise. There's there's so much happening. How in the world are you ranking the first episodes of season two? I ranked this mode. one. 18 yeses. Yes. 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 yes, yes. yes. <laughs> and then a lot more of them. Thank you. You, oh, everybody! Whew. Season two you. is gonna be fun. You, you, and don't forget with them. Oh yeah, you too. Also, thumbs at, up at watching Bluey on Twitter. Check That's it awesome. out. We are so close to a thousand people on there joining the party. So get in on the fun if you haven't yet. So many bots at watching Bluey Pod on TikTok. Whew. We got some dad jokes galore up there, my friends. Check them out. 
send us your thoughts, your takes, whether it's just a paragraph about stuff or whether it's you audio. What uh, are you thinking? Watchingbluey at gmail.com. Uh, thanks to Samantha, who sent us a great email, shared some stories about her uh, child's birthday party. It was really cool hearing from you. I'm glad you... Uh, I believe she said in like the last two weeks she's listened to like 50 episodes, which... I apologize <laughs> <laughs> for a lot of things. <laughs> If you have any takes on if our voices are too loud or our jokes are too bad, let us know. But they're not going to stop anytime soon. So it will be in vain. Merch bit.ly slash 2BWB swag. Yep. Now, also us. <laughs> big news here. Wow. We are making some changes to our Patreon. Oh, yeah. Yeah, for sure. So first off, bit.ly slash 2BWB Pat. We are going to now have three separate tiers for the Patreon. No tears in your face. Like, no no crying tears. <laughs> Just For $1, you get access to all the episodes, all the back catalog, anything we do going forward. $1 you buck. $1, you got access to it all. For $2. $2 bucks. Which is the standard tier we have right now, you get access Plus, you get to recommend and suggest episodes for us to do, and we'll do whatever you want. This is your this is your forum to talk on. And then mm. for five dollar bucks, our premium tier, or whatever fancy name we call it, Ooh. what you get is the access to the episodes. Boom. You get to recommend episodes. You also Go will nuts. get a thank you video from Mike and myself, oh. and you will get a shout out for yourself or a friend or whatever you want on the podcast. Oof. So those should be updated. Go buck wild. By the time that you're listening to our voice. Check it out. Give yeah, us a try. Honestly, bug us. We're, we're, we're around for nothing for nothing but our own entertainment. And if we bring you entertainment, aw. Yeehaw. Yeehaw. Because what we say in Syracuse is yeehaw. yeehaw. <laughs> and lastly. Oh. And most God. importantly. Gosh. Do you, do you have a guess or no? Uh, Looks like you're I, it, it's going to be for tubing to create a musical instrument or it's going to be for a a chip shop if you oh come on want to have your own dance mode okay. why don't you go to the beat mega club super close in fortitude valley brisbane fortitude valley i pick these for the whatever has the most fun name that's what i'm going for wow. the beat mega club it seems i'll show you a picture right here it seems like a heck of a good time big old dance party it's been around since 1983, so you know it's good because it's from the same year I was born. All I saw was was in my head. It went unce, unce, unce. <laughs> Robot Nation. <laughs> www.beatmegaclub.com.au. Oh, one day it's not gonna happen. I can't. Wait, one day, one day we'll be there. One day we'll be at the Mega Club. Unce, maybe, unce, not today, unce. maybe not tomorrow, but eventually. Season two here. We're having fun. Mm. But for now, till then, it's got to be done. It's got to be done!